Hey guys, welcome back. I am back in the kitchen. It has turned autumnal 100%. I'm really tempted to turn the heating on. Uh, and we need some nice comforting recipes that are also easy to make. So I'm going to go back today to cook the book. And I have chosen um, Dominique's Kitchen. Uh, it's written by Dominique Wolf. It's e easy everyday Asian inspired food. And I had a cauliflower in the fridge and I found a roasted cauliflower with satay sauce recipe in here. So that's what I'm cooking. I'm going to leave the details of the book in the description below. Let's get cooking. So the first thing is that I'm going to preheat the oven at 120. Now remember my oven is fan. So if you don't have a fan oven, it's going to be 240. So I'm going to do a 220 um, fan oven ready for the cauliflower. So I'm going to start with the cauliflower, of course, and just going to get to the cauliflower head. And then just cut it into small florets. So just going to try and get this into bite size. And I'm not going to waste these um, leaves. I'm just going to use them all up. So the stem, just going to chop it into smaller pieces because um, that's a bit harder to cook. So if you chop it in smaller pieces, they will cook at the same time as the um, florets. And then these, I'm just going to chop up. And this goes into a baking tray. So a few things to add here, a good pinch of salt, I would say around half a teaspoon, a couple of tablespoons of oil, I'm using olive oil. And then I have got some mild curry powder. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons of that, which I think is a tiny bit too much. So I'm just going to stick with one and a half tablespoons of um, curry powder. And then just give it a good mix. This is going to go into the oven for around 25 minutes. And we want a kind of lovely golden color to the edges of the cauliflower and obviously we want it cooked through. nice hot pan and just a tablespoon of oil goes in and now I have just got some ready Thai curry paste uh, red Thai curry paste just gonna add a tablespoon and a half of the paste I've got a tin of uh, coconut milk and it's 400 ml but I only need 100 ml so I'm just going to add a fourth of this so this is a, a quantity for two people so I'm going to increase it to um, 200 ml of coconut milk because I'm cooking for four people. Just going to add a tiniest bit more sauce because I've increased the quantity of coconut milk. There it goes. 
just going to simmer it for a minute next i need um, some peanut butter i've got some really good quality unsweetened peanut butter now this is calling for crunchy peanut butter sadly i haven't got crunchy peanut butter at home so i'm just going to use smooth and just add some peanuts from on top so five tablespoons of peanut butter Just give it a good mix and I'm going to add two teaspoons of light soy sauce and a tablespoon of soft brown sugar. And a hundred ml of water. I'm just using a tiny whisk to smoothen this out. So in goes the beautifully roasted cauliflower. Everything smells really quite delicious. And here comes our rice. And there goes our beautiful cauliflower with the saute sauce. Oh, look at that cauliflower. Look at the stunning sauce. My mouth is watering. I really just want to dive in. And I'm going to finish it with some peanuts. And just a few little sprigs of coriander, which are obviously optional, but I would highly recommend. And here it is, uh, the cauliflower with satay sauce, roasted cauliflower with satay sauce. Smells so good. And I'm just going to dive in and let you know how it is. really excited about this i love cauliflower and roasted cauliflower is if cauliflower is this good roasted cauliflower is this good mm. oh wow wow that is fabulous Mmm, cauliflower is delicious, um, the sauce is lovely and the best thing is that the Thai paste was um, ready made, the coconut uh, milk is in a can and um, the peanut butter is coming from a jar so really I have put this together, the only time it takes is the time to roast the cauliflower, other than that the sauce was ready in a few minutes so it's a really quick midweek meal as well. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back again with another new recipe very, very soon. Thank you.